All right, I want to introduce myself. My name is Matt McDougall. Um, I used to run a channel on YouTube called 50 Ducks in a Hot Tub that, um, that fed the homeless for the last four years. And uh, we were planning on feeding the homeless again this year. Over the last four years, we've donated um, uh, around uh, 2,700 meat ducks to the homeless in Toronto. We've donated about uh, 17,000 duck eggs in the last three years to the local food banks. And all of this has now been put into jeopardy because of uh, a current situation on YouTube of terminating the, the duck channel, uh, the largest duck channel, 3,800 videos, 32 million views, roughly 58,000 uh, subs, uh, all gone overnight because of uh, a coordinated attack by a certain animal rights group on the channel flagged enough of our content that uh, we got enough strikes that they deleted the channel. I have now had a, uh, um, a real eye-opening experience on the appeal process on YouTube. I, uh, up to this point, I've never uh, had any dealings with YouTube as far as uh, having problems with the account. I've been squeaky clean since 2007. I've been posting videos since 2008. I've never had a problem. I got a real eye-opener this past nine days on how YouTube uh, appeal system works which is something that needs to be addressed on YouTube by all creators uh, because up to this point I've never had to deal with it. I didn't know what it was like and I didn't know uh, that you're, uh, you're absolutely for sure guilty until proven innocent. And the proving innocent part, you, they don't give you much rope to uh, prove yourself innocent. Uh, you get uh, 200 characters including spaces to uh, defend yourself. I swear that the web page that the appeal process is straight from 2005 when YouTube was originally created, <laughs> but um, we've been raising ducks and uh, you know for charity here, and, and uh, I never thought that uh, we would be under attack by this animal rights group, which started last fall, and uh, April the fourth uh, they hit us hard and got the channel deleted. So now we're fighting to get the channel back, and we're having no luck with the appeal process. There's a lot of problems with the appeal process, folks. And I started live streaming, and that really opened up the, the uh, floodgates of connecting you know, between the fan and the creator, myself. And uh, this has been a real emotional ride, because as soon as you get one strike, you can't live stream anymore. And they just cut you off. And uh, I think that's really dangerous uh, to have that system in place, because the connection that you get with the fans is unbelievable. Uh, it's until you experience live streaming on a, on a daily basis or a weekly basis and get you know connect with your fans, you don't realize uh, you know what it's like. And for YouTube to cut it off like that, I just you know it, it's they're opening the gates for emotional backlash. And you know emotional backlash, you do stupid things. And, and you know we already had something stupid happen at YouTube headquarters a couple weeks ago. Uh, with that shooting, I think the way YouTube's headed with the live streaming, you know, and more and more creators are doing it, there's going to be more and more people get connected to their creators, and the chances of them being emotionally cut off by a, 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 you know, a channel getting a strike and can no longer uh, stream, that is, that's a problem, because now instead of just having the creators, uh, you know, getting upset, you're getting a lot of fans upset. And that's a numbers game, you know, and uh, something bad could happen, folks. And I, I think the YouTube system for the appeals process, it has to change. It has to change. There has to be a better way, uh, a more one-on-one -on -one contact. Because right now, you don't get to talk to anybody uh, to, to defend yourself. No contact whatsoever, unless you're in a network and you can you you got a manager that can contact with with YouTube. But still, you can't unless you're a big YouTuber. You're you just it's off with the head, and uh, if you can prove yourself innocent, they'll put your head back on. And once you get your third strike, you're locked out of your channel. You can't even defend yourself. You can't even appeal the third strike. We were planning on another thousand ducklings live streaming on YouTube, donated by Metzer Farms uh, in California. Once again, they were coming through. And we were going to raise these thousand ducks again this year, and you know, to feed the homeless in Toronto, which would have represented about 5,000 meals, uh, servings, meat servings, and uh, that has officially been uh, ended by YouTube with this termination. 
um, and our weekly egg donations. Everything is up in, up in the air right now. So technically, I'm not allowed to have a, a YouTube channel because once you're terminated, you're off the site. So that's another problem we're facing here. And we can't get anybody at YouTube to look at anything. It's a very frustrating process right now, folks. Okay, I'm, I'm hoping you're still here uh, on the video, and I, I can't stress enough, there's a link below um, of the petition. I really would like to see us get a million signatures. Uh, if you're a YouTuber, if you're a YouTube fan, you've got to sign this because the, U, the YouTube appeal system absolutely has to get some sort of updating to reflect the new, uh, the new technology of live streaming and the, and the real-time connection with fans. It doesn't allow for any type of personal uh, review uh, of any sort and YouTube has the tools that they could do this via you know Google Hangouts uh, there's many different ways that you could have a um, you know a hearing of some sort to defend your your work um, and the thing is is that they they have different levels for advertising you know that you're allowed to be a YouTube partner or you're not allowed to be a partner why isn't there an, a, a level for hearings that that's that's something has to be done the links below folks click on the link below uh, it'll take you to change.org uh, website you can sign the petition let's get a million signatures so that we can let YouTube know that this is something that has to be fixed from this point on folks the video is going to be completely focusing on what happened to the ducks on YouTube uh, and how a channel that raises ducks for the homeless to feed the homeless and donate uh, hundreds of eggs we Weekly to the local food banks got permanently terminated off of YouTube and will not get reviewed it seems anyways I got a strike before once before on the channel back in February 2017 but it got appealed and it got reversed it's the only time I've ever had uh, the, the, the appeal process to deal with it it was very cut and dried and that was the, the next day the strike was removed since then I've had a real eye-opener. Uh, we got our first strike February the 6th, uh, 2018, and that was for a butchering video of taking care of a, a goose that we had here, and it, there was no killing of nothing on the, on the video. It was strictly a butchering video, skinning the goose, showing how it's done. We got a, a strike. All our live streams were taken down that day that night and uh, we were out out for about five hours uh, but the appeal was really fast we did the appeal and five hours later the appeal went through we got our live streaming uh, ability back and uh, everything was back to normal and then on March the 2nd 2018 we got another strike and this time this is goes back to the February 2017 is we had a, a, a video it was a little piece of a video that I pulled out of a main vlog of some ducks mating in the bathtub they were having sex in the bathtub and this is what ducks do uh, it's easier on the females when they're in the water and I was just having to be there with the camera I wasn't staged you can't make animals do this and I filmed it for the vlog and I took it out uh, for this minute and 17 second and I titled the video duck penis sex in the bathtub this is what it looks like no games no nothing like this is what it is and it showed the animals they were mating uh, in the bathtub floating around and then the male and the, got off and he walked up and it just happened to be hanging down and I actually got a good shot to show people what a duck penis looks like because they don't look normal we got a strike and I, I didn't realize instantly uh, that it was our, that it was the same video. Then I, I got about half a day went by. I realized that's the same video. We got a strike on a video, on this video 13 months ago. It was the same URL, same video ID, nothing, not a re-upload. I appealed it, and they denied the appeal. And they said that it was pornography, that it was nudity. And I'm like, okay, well, they approved it 13 months ago. But now it's not approved. But I got a strike, I got removed. Like something's wrong here. So that just, I kept arguing with them. Well, not arguing, I kept asking, how could it be approved in 2017? Up, reviewed and approved and the strike removed, but now it isn't. Never, they still have, won't, they will not answer that question. So then we got our, our third strike. It was about eight hours later, and it was for a another call video we were calling us some uh, Muscovy Drakes that were causing a problem here and uh, I appealed it and it was approved and they when they reinstated the video they made the video age restricted based on community guidelines so I, the strike was gone so that was free and clear but we still were you know arguing uh, arguing uh, there's no arguing with YouTube I was still trying to get the answer why the first strike uh, on the duck penis was not allowed but it was in 2017 and it's a, it's an animal showing animals mate this isn't sex and there was no joking around or or any type of lewd comments uh, it was and actually the video I've posted on on Facebook 
Facebook authorized it for advertising to promote it. They've looked at it uh, and it's like there, there's nothing sexual about it. It's animals mating. So then on March the 6th, I got a flagged video. And, uh, but there was no strike. It was the strangest thing. They, it was, I got notified that a video, a video was flagged and that they had reviewed it. And it was a, uh, a, a cull video of a duck that had gotten frostbite. I had tried to save its life. Its name was Miss Ice Covey. She got her name because she was in the house here for months. And, but the frostbite was so bad, we couldn't save the duck. So I had to put the duck out of her misery. And that video was plain and simple. Duck out of misery, showed the, the, the problem with the duck, the blackfoot couldn't save it and off you know took it off with his head really fast did it all in the, you know it was, it was very instructional how it was done and it got approved like it was actually showing ducks getting decap a duck getting decapitated uh, because it was in you know extreme pain they uh, they they flagged the video reviewed it and came back and said it can stay on YouTube it's age restricted based on community guidelines no ads can be on this, which was no problem because I really didn't care about the ad revenue on it. But it was, you know, it was legitimate content on a duck having severe frostbite, couldn't save it, and this is what you have to do. There's no way around it, folks. So then on April 3rd, I got another strike. And this was for a duck call video. These Also, all of these videos I'm talking about are like 2013, 2014. They're very old videos. This one was uh, from fall of 2014. And uh, there was five days that I had to uh, call the flock. I had 660 ducks uh, that I had to process. And I video logged it all to show people what's involved in, in you know, a group of five people to, to process this many animals. And there was no gratuitous violent or gore, I should say. Uh, it was very instructional, showing how the plucker worked, how the scalding works. Like it was, if you wanted to learn how to process birds humanely, and I'm talking humanely, there was no freaking out, there was birds were calm, cool, collect, I had proof that they were calm, it was all video log to show that you could do this in a in an ethical manner uh, to do this. They, the video got flagged, and it was flagged as, as, as uh, violence or gore or something, I forget exactly, but I appealed it, because in the fall of 2014 when I uploaded these videos, YouTube had the YouTube community guidelines team flagged it and it got reviewed in 2014 when it was up actually the week it was uploaded and they restricted it age restricted it it was like right from the start YouTube had already looked at this video and age restricted it restricted it in 2014 so I'm like okay how can you be in violation of community guidelines when a video has been reviewed and classified by YouTube's community guidelines team in 2014. So that appeal was sitting there and I was waiting for an answer. April 5th, two days later, I had a gut feeling and something told me to go through my catalog of videos and I put about 90 videos, anything controversial, anything, anything from shooting predators to, that were killing ducks uh, to you know processing ducks, uh, dealing with sick ducks, I made private and on my channel. Unfortunately, I don't know how it happened, but three hours and 18 minutes later, a private video got got somehow a strike against it. I think it was already in the pipeline. I don't know if YouTube's how fast YouTube's process works, but this video I know for a fact I had made private, and it was also age restricted by YouTube, not by me. It had already been reviewed by the YouTube Community Guidelines review team, and in the fall of 2014 and I got my third and final strike. The panel was instantly deleted, completely. No chance for appeal, nothing. So I'm uh, a little bit distraught over this, uh, watching you know a, a, a nine year plus, uh, actually over nine years, 11 year old channel uh, being deleted. Uh, seven years worth of, of catalog and a lot of personal videos and uh, you know a lot of work folks like no unless you're a youtuber you know editing videos I had over 1800 highly edited videos taken out and uh, 2,000 streams completely gone it's, it's it's a big I'm still in a little bit shocked that's why it's taking me so long to do this video um, it's been hard when you have that much of your life erased and you can't defend yourself and you can't talk to anybody uh, and that's why the YouTube appeal process it has to get updated this is wrong so I spent a week solid 
emails back and forth to the creator support and I get a frontline worker and he is not the person making the decisions he has to forward it so I'm I forwarded all the links to all the charities that we donate to uh, the homeless shelter, right? all the years of uh, duck donations that we've made to them, uh, the egg uh, donations to the food banks. Um, unfortunately, like 36 videos, 17,000 duck eggs worth of proof got deleted off my channel, so I couldn't forward them any proof that I delete eggs to the food bank. Um, but I had enough news stories from uh, CTV News, Global News, uh, a couple local uh, 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 articles, a uh, cable channel uh, that had all done stories on the ducks on YouTube and the charity work we do. So I sent an email, crafted up with all the information, and I asked the gentleman, can you please forward this to the appeals team so they know what they're dealing with. They're dealing with a charity channel and, you know, I felt that I had given myself a really good case that, you know, I'm not just a, a channel showing about raising animals, but we're actually giving back. That we're donating thousands of meals, thousands of meals, not a couple hundred. Honestly, I think this channel has probably generated about 20,000 meals for either the homeless or low income. I don't know many YouTube channels, uh, one person with the backing of his fans could pull off such a feat, but we did. So, you know, we're not a, a charity, but we're one man with a really good fan base that that's, wants to be part of this giving back. I thought this was a really good pitch for to throw to YouTube on the appeal process. A week goes by and nothing, absolutely nothing. So April 13th, last Friday, a fan discovers on Reddit a, uh, th a couple threads uh, that were pointed right at our channel in the vegan category and they were directing people to flag our content. One thread was from last fall when we had a problem with another animal activist group that wanted us to donate, uh, that didn't want us to donate the ducks to the homeless and they wanted to uh, send the ducks off to sanctuaries and they were going to, well they said they were going to donate uh, tofu uh, to the homeless shelter in lieu of them getting uh, the free-range ducks. We turned that down. So then the second thread which was put up specifically told people to flag our content on YouTube and I think they flagged us in, in enough numbers that the YouTube algorithms blew a gasket and uh, figured out that we were one evil channel to be flagged this heavy. Based on what's happened since we've discovered this thread and the, uh, the ongoing uh, drama that is happening, uh, I'm thinking it's a couple thousand people jumped on this one and flagged us all at once and they haven't stopped. Uh, and now I thought this is a slam dunk case for my appeal. You know, I'm a, ch I'm a charity channel. Everything we do, we donate to, you know, we have proof we donate to charities. And we've now got hard evidence with links, screenshots, uh, the whole deal for YouTube appeals. So I send that off to YouTube saying, here's the proof now. I had a hunch this was the deal. I had no proof, but now I have proof right on Reddit. These people are telling people to attack our channel and flag our content. Well, anybody with a, uh, you know, a, a half a brain would think, this is it, it's a slam dunk case, channel's going to come back, so I wait. And I, I, now we're, it's Friday. Last Saturday, I sent all this information off to YouTube, nothing. I've got nothing back. And I'm, I'm emailing and they keep telling me, oh, we're looking at it, we're looking at it. But they're not, they're not, because they, 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 they slipped and admitted they haven't looked at anything. The internal team hasn't looked. And, I, and they know that we had planned to have another thousand ducklings show up here the first of June and that we were going to raise the ducks again to feed the homeless. They know this and I said time is of the essence because we need the, the hatchery needs to have 60 days notice to get the thousand ducklings here. And I, there's, so I'm telling you to like we've got to get this fixed because we've got a charity to run here. We've got, we've got people to feed roughly 5,000 meat servings. Still nothing. And they have now they have the the proof that we're all the charity work we do. They have the proof that we are under attack. That this was a coordinated attack to flag our content. Still no reply. Also, during this whole thing, I have three questions for YouTube because it all pertains to the three strikes. The first question is, how does a video get two strikes? The same video. First time it gets a strike, it gets approved. Second time it, it gets rejected. How do videos that the two videos the the second and the third videos 
how do the second and third videos that have already been reviewed by the YouTube community guidelines team and age restricted by the YouTube guidelines team get strikes based on community guidelines? These three questions they will not answer. Can't get them to answer. There's no reply. They, they, they cut and paste the community guidelines page and say you've been in violation of the community guidelines. But they won't answer the question, which is very simple. But YouTube refuses to answer the questions. They will not answer them. Zip zero. I'm getting nothing from. So now the days are going by. We keep emailing asking what's going on with our appeal. They have the evidence. They have the references of who we are. They will not get back to us. So I said to them, I said, you know, what's the, what's your legal address, you know, for a lawyer to get in touch with you? Because I, I don't feel we're getting anywhere. What's the address? They reply back, well, the, the internal team is still looking at it, but they won't give me an address. Now, I know how to use Google, folks, and I know how to search it, but I just thought, you know, like, get them to throw their address at me. You know, a bluff, I guess we could call it. Well, the bluff blew back in my face because today... Uh, they have now said, because of the ongoing legal action, they will no longer communicate with me on this matter, even though I don't even have an address to get a lawyer letter sent to them. Um, so now YouTube has totally put us uh, in the back burner. We don't, we don't have a legal action. We don't even have a lawyer. Uh, we, all I wanted was the address so that if I did hire a lawyer, I could send a, you know, here's the address, write the letter, uh, or start the proceeding to, you know, to, to, I don't know, sue YouTube to get my channel back, which I don't even know if that's possible. But the bottom line is, though, the, the appeal process has been a real eye-opener for me. I cannot believe how broken it is. It is so backwards, and it really needs to be updated, especially with the, uh, the big push for live streaming, because that... That changes doing videos uh, and publishing content because you, you connect a whole new way with your fans that I never even dreamed of. Uh, I never thought that I would get so emotionally attached to my fans and they attached to me uh, through this whole live streaming. It has been a real ride, uh, a good positive ride. I've developed a lot of really good friendships. I, I've developed a lot of connections with people and they've developed a lot of connections with myself, my dog that protects the ducks, the ducks themselves. It's, I, have, I am real to them and that is being taken away from them. And I, I, I have a, a bad feeling in my gut that this is gonna happen again somewhere else and some fan is gonna snap, creator's gonna snap, someone's gonna snap, someone's gonna get hurt. And I, I don't want to see that. That's why this appeal process, I'm, I'm, I don't know about ever getting my channel back. I hope I do. I, I really do. I hope I get it back. It would be a shame to lose that much work uh, that I've put into it. I've put in, just in the last four and a half years, I've worked seven days a week on this. I have poured myself completely into it because I love doing it. And I was helping people and I was having fun and I was sharing it. Um, and I would like to get that back. I would really like to get that back. Uh, and if I don't get it back, well, I, I guess I got to put my big boy pants on and move on. But the appeal process has to get fixed, folks. Can't stress that enough. There has to be a better way of being judged. There is. There needs to be some kind of hearing, a panel, uh, and they can do it with Google Plus Hangouts. I've, I've had Google Plus meetings with YouTube staff. Why don't they have a panel um, or a, a, a person and a, an arbitrator of some sort, something that you can actually sit there, you know, in front of your webcam and defend your catalog, your years of being a clean YouTuber. How can you be treated like somebody who just uploads, you know, a couple really bad videos and, you know, or copyright infringements? Just, you're just nothing but trouble. You get treated the same way as them even though you've had a, a, an absolutely sparkly clean record and all of a sudden you're just as bad as the person uh, that just uploads three really bad videos and gets taken out instantly. You're treated the same. There's no credibility. I hope you go down, sign the petition that you know the YouTube uh, appeal process needs to be updated. I can't think of anything else to say but I can tell you it's been a real eye-opening experience. I never thought that a channel raising ducks to feed the homeless and supplying eggs to the food bank would get terminated on YouTube and have no recourse whatsoever.